Um, Mickey, we'll just start with obviously you've um, extended your stay with the club. Um, how happy are you to, I suppose, be representing your hometown club for, for another season? Yeah, um, I've lost count how many now. I think it's six or seven. Um, yeah, and happy to continue on. As you said, in the hometown, it makes it um, even better. Uh, you're now, after the, the weekend, you're now uh, second in the all-time appearance list for the club. Did Growing up, did you ever think that uh, you'd achieve something like that? Uh, no, but just on that, I feel like Issa's going to come back just so he can beat me again. He's that uh, competitive. Uh, <laughs> but no, nah, it's, a, it's a nice achievement and um, yeah, nice number to have. Um, and I don't think I'm ever going to catch huge. You take pride in that? Is it perhaps something that your, your family is proud of as well? Yeah, I guess it's something I, I didn't expect and um, I had a look at the list and I think um, when I first started coming into the, the team we had players like Travis Dodd and of course Yuja was there as well so, and they were really big sort of mentors and big players so um, to, to surpass um, a couple of those guys, is, uh, it's, it's special. You, you've achieved so much the club and in Bar Asia, <clears throat> you've, you've won everything but do you have anything else on the list that you really want to, I guess, tick off? You want to FFA Cup three times? So. Uh, I, I think um, just what's important at this stage is just for for the club to try and have um, continued success and um, whether, as I said before, whether you're in the starting 11 or you're coming off the bench or you're, you're watching from the stands just to be a part of the um, the team pushing forward and um, yeah, always striving for success. You mentioned that success and obviously the club's had a bit of a down spell at the moment, winless in the last four. Um, what, what in your mind needs, needs to change? Is it a mentality thing? Is it getting back to basics? I think if, if there's ever a, um, a time to play Melbourne Victory at home on a, on a Friday night, it's um, this week. Um, players are always up for Friday and um, I think sometimes form can go out the window and it's probably a good thing for us because um, we're on a bit of a, a losing streak so uh, we'll really welcome Friday night and um, I'm sure all the players will be up for it to get the win. Michael Jacobson said yesterday like it's the perfect game to, to yeah. really guess kick off from here. Do you share that viewpoint? Yeah, I mean, personally, I love playing the Friday night games at High Marsh and knowing it's against victory um, and, of course, Marco's, uh, as we found out, just, just left. I think there's going to be quite a few fans. It'll be noisy, it'll be loud, it'll be good, it'll be good uh, atmosphere and good weather. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a perfect game, perfect um, atmosphere for us. So, yeah, we really have to be up for it. Just on the um, departure of, of Marco from, from victory, do you think that will impacts the way that their team will react, I suppose. You know, they got a new coach coming in, um, whether they'll keep with their interim or sign someone else. Uh, do you think that will, I guess, gear them up for an even bigger performance? And even considering the way they lost against Interpost last week? Uh, I guess difficult to judge in terms of uh, how they're going to fare in performance, but I think with such a short turnaround of a couple of days, I don't think any coach can sort of implement anything um, too new. We're probably going to see yeah, something similar. Of, of their style. We mentioned obviously the, the, the up and down nature of it all, um, but I guess you said as well the atmosphere at Coopers can, can be so electric at times of experience this season. How important is it for, for I guess the fans to, to get behind the boys and, and really I guess help get out of this rut? Yeah I mean it, it's on the fans but it's also on us as players to uh, create that sort of um, excitement and uh, you know, start the game really well and have chances and get the, the get the crowd behind us. And then, um, usually, what we see at, at Coopers is in the second half and the last 15, 20 minutes when the players are getting tired, we, you really start to hear uh, the crowd get behind you and, and push on. And I think um, I think remember the last game when we had we won by a couple of goals um, against Victory at Coopers. It was a yeah, really really good atmosphere. So hope for something similar.